everyone welcome back to my channel i am hoping that you guys will all be okay with the view i am having some technical difficulties with my camera so i am hoping that it will just work for me today um i haven't filmed in maybe a week or two so i definitely need to upload and if you guys can hear in the background my daughter is home with me today from daycare so you will just have to kind of ignore her noise in the background from the shows that she is currently watching so for today we are going to be doing a weekly budget with me and today it is for the 10th of May to the 16th of May and we are going to jump straight into the video. I don't want to ramble too much for you guys today um, but I just want to say I hope that you guys are having a great week and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new I film budgeting content cash stuffings some lifestyle stuff and I have a new series that will be coming to my channel real soon I am currently working on the Dave Ramsey plan and paying off my debt however over the past week or two there has been some new plans in place and stuff like that so eventually I will have to fill you guys in but for right now we're just going to be going with finances and seeing where we will be ending up next week. So I get paid twice a week, I am a weekly paycheck budgeter and so I do also use the Budget Mums um, Budget by Paycheck workbook to mark out what bills are due on what day. So if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure to do so. It's really nice to have all your bills in one place, know what day they are each due on and what needs to be paid when. So... For next week, we have my phone bill that is $16. We also have our water bill that will be coming out. And I was over what I budgeted last month, so I have increased this month's water bill amount I know that the water person just came and checked the meter not long ago so I know that the water bill should be coming in within the next few days or next week so that has been bumped back up to $50 we were doing really good as a large family for keeping our water bill under $50 at one point it was around 42 so hopefully we can get that back down because that would be really nice the next bill that we have is electric and that is $85 on a weekly basis I am not sure if I updated you guys on my electricity and internet bill but I did go to my electricity company and I spoke to them about changing companies. They offered me a $300 credit towards my account to stay with them for my electricity. However, I am changing next week to a new internet company instead of paying about $110 with this electricity company I will now be paying about $78, $80 a month for my internet. 
so it's really cut it down um, which is nice so after electricity we have my car loan and that is 71.62 a week and then we have my daughter's daycare which is $20 a week and this is also really nice it includes her food and everything that she needs except for her nappies um, and she's currently in pull-ups anyway so she will be toilet training pretty much soon and $20 a week for two days that's really good doing six hours per day so you can't beat that and then we also have my dog's vet appointment and this is for his last set of shots so I'm just going to be budgeting $200 I am not exactly sure how much it will cost I know each time that I have taken him so far it has been a crazy amount just for his vet appointment and then I also grab things that he would need so um, his leash, his harness, um, his collar, his name tag, that sort of thing. So this vet appointment coming up is going to be for his last set of injections as well as I will need to get some, I think it's flea treatment and worming tablets or something for him to do that once every month or so. So... $200 is going to be the budget for that. Then we have my car insurance. And that is $78.35 this month. And lastly we have rent. So rent is going to be $540. I also do want to add on top of that Canva so for Canva that is about $20 a month so I'm also going to be adding that on so I can do some editing I can do some thumbnails and that sort of thing so this is what my budget is going to be looking like for next week the 10th of May to the 16th of May um, for the bills and then we will have groceries so these are more of my cash envelope categories so groceries we will say $200 um, I do have some things in the house already we have a lot of pantry cupboard stuff and so we will just need to stock up on the basics and some meats. And then for gas, we are going to be doing $70. Usually I would fill up once a fortnight but I'm trying to now work to weekly amounts so I need to start breaking that up for my bills as well but to start off very small and in small baby steps I am going to start off with the weekly cash envelope amounts so my gas will be $70 I have also for this week that I'm filming it is the 6th of May today but I have filled up my car with $50 and then I have $20 left over if I need to put more in but today is Friday I don't plan on going anywhere over the weekend so I should be good until my next time that I need to put gas in the car and then I also like to budget for household right now and that is $20 a week 
And then I also like to give myself personal money, which is $20 a week as well. I also did just order in a new wallet. So that is what this looks like. It is my um, cash stuffing wallet. And so I wanted a plain black wallet, something that I could use every single day. And that is what I got here. So I am not using the Budget Mom Filofax wallet anymore. Or the Savvy Sense wallet. I wanted something different. I like to switch things up a little bit here and there and I get bored of things. So that is currently my new wallet. You can find it on Amazon if you just look up the cash wallets. It'll be a wallet and it comes with some envelopes that you can reuse. So that is what I have been using for the last couple of weeks. And this will be it for my weekly budget with me. Um, there has been a few things that I have been working on behind the scenes and um, just really progressing really well and working off a list of stuff that I have wanted to get done or needed to get done. So I am almost finished with buying my kids clothes. I've been doing clothes shopping. I have been getting refunds and my kids stuff is almost done. I need to get some shoes for them and some slippers. Now that here in New Zealand it is hitting winter and then my daughter also wants to get a robe. So those are the last things on the list. I was also able to purchase my puppy some new toys, a dog kennel for out of the back of our place, um, some new bedding, cuddly blankets, um, just bits and pieces that he needed, a new leash, um, and a harness as well. So. I wrote a list of things that I wanted to accomplish and I've just been slowly working down that list, paying for things in cash and crossing those off as I go. But yeah, so that's a little bit of an update at the moment. Um, we are also getting closer and closer to meeting my baby girls. So we are 30 weeks pregnant tomorrow and I don't have much longer to go so I'm super excited I can't wait for her to come out I'm physically tired and honestly a little bit over being pregnant but as long as she's healthy and she comes out when she wants to come out that's the main thing I'm just so ready to have her out and have my body back and hold her and be able to film for you guys and you guys meet her and maybe I will film a what's in my baby's hospital bag video because it's something that I also wanted to film so if you guys want to see that definitely leave a comment down below um, and I can film that for you guys and then I will also um, film a what's in my hospital bag if you guys would also like to see that as well. I will not be filming all of her stuff that she has um, but I don't mind filming like her hospital bag and my hospital bag um, if you guys would like to see that as well. So everything will probably be changing in July baby girl will be here I might do some day in the lives um, recovering from giving birth and that sort of thing but without further ado and enough rambling I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I am sorry that it's not aesthetically pleasing and it's just pretty down to the basics I am going to be switching out a couple of things over the next couple of months 
budget wise meal planning um, I did just go and purchase two new planners this morning so I'll quickly show that for you guys um, so I went to Kmart early this morning and I just purchased a new 2023 and 2022 planner and I am in love with the pattern on my planner the way that it's laid out and everything it is perfect for what I need it for especially for 2023 I have a lot of things coming up you guys and I'm so 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 excited to be able to share that with you guys when we get closer to the date um so this is one of the planners that I did purchase and it's just a 18 month yearly planner so I'm going to be using this a lot and then the last thing or the last planner that I did buy from Kmart is actually this one and this one is just a home planner so we do have tabs for monthly and weekly planning um, we have tabs for meal planning grocery shopping lists and that sort of thing so I will quickly do a flick through with you guys so this is what the planner looks like and this is just the cover page and so here we have a weekly and monthly planner tab and I like this because it breaks it down pretty well so we have a monthly overview we have a place for birthdays a place for important things and it's just nice and big so you can fit a lot of things in then you have a weekly planner so to do's next week's and you just have the days of the week where you can write your stuff in so that is another thing that I like and that I will be using quite often and then we also have our meal planner section and this is what I bought it for mainly because I did buy the 2023 and 2022 planner so this is mainly for my meal planning I am going to start meal planning for my family and so I really liked how this planner had everything in it to meal plan so you've got your meat and poultry and fish category home essentials you've got your fruits and vegetables your miscellaneous and your dairy and I really liked how it is all in its own categories everything is all planned out and it's just nice to be able to have one area where you can meal plan have it all in one place and refer back to if needed so I really like this home planner and if you guys do want to purchase it it is being sold at Kmart I think this was $11 um, but I would definitely have to say that it's cute and it's definitely worth the price so if you guys want it it's at Kmart and this is the yearly planner as well so that will be it for this video you guys I hope that you guys really enjoyed it and I am hoping to get some aesthetically pleasing budgets in soon but for right now pen and paper is how we're going to be doing it these planners are also going to be helping when I need 
to use them and what they're used for but I can't wait to see you guys in the next video I really hope that you guys liked it also just want to squeeze in real quick before my camera dies happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there it is Mother's Day on the 8th of May here in New Zealand and so I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Ooh.